Hello humans! Thanks for tuning in. In this video, I want to show you the difference between three brushes from VP Leon Hardy that all start off with the same amount of hair. Over here, this one is 700040, the original VP style knot. This one is what they call the pointed knot. And then over there, this one is the 8000, that is a two-band silver tip. Now, the first thing I wanted to show you with these is how much variance the weight is. VP has told me that on all these models, anytime the handle is the same thing, you just go by the last two numbers in there, and that refers to how much weight of hair they started off with. So. There might be a difference in this by a little bit and by this by a lot, but the sum of hair that they used to form the knot in the first place is within a tenth of a gram, I'm assuming. But let's look over here and uh, notice very quickly as I refocus a little bit. Okay. So this one, the 7040, it's like a uh, 88 grams and uh, as you can see here it's got a real big knot look at it compared to the next one so that's what they call the pointed roof form and this one I don't know what they call this this one this is their original style this is the one that's the really interesting one and this one over here is like a classic dome. These are both the same exact grade of hair and the hair stalks were the same length. So when you make it into this very pointed roof form where the canopy has an enormous variance in the height from the center to the edge, then when you, when you let's say you take 10 grams of hair in there and you put it into the little dowel, if the little shaper is very varied. It's not like they have five or six different lengths of hair that they use. They just grab one length of hair and they put it in there and then they make something flat from the backside to put the uh, to put the glue on. So this one, you can see over here, it doesn't have nearly as much variance from the height over there to the height there as this one does. Okay, and then Going back to the scale, you'll notice that uh, it weighs less too. So the first one weighed 88. This one comes in at uh, 84 and change so the amount of hair that would be thrown away so to speak between this one and this one is three grams and change of hair assuming that the handle weight and the glue weight were exactly the same which they're not but it's not like they have a nominal variance um, so that's a good little bit of hair and now I got this one this is the two band super badger and that is a legitimate Two band super badger. There's a lot of horseshit on the internet of companies that are using stuff that isn't really two band hair. But this one is the real thing. And uh, this one, as you could see, versus those three knots, it's the smallest knot by far, but the knots weighed the same at the beginning. So unless they bored this one so much deeper, it's got the lowest weight because the hair takes up the least amount of space. And uh, 82, 81, 81 and a half. How about 81 and a half? So you're talking six and a half grams less weight than that one. So these three all started off with the same quantity X of hair weight before they started making that knot. So why would you choose A, B, or C? It depends on what you prefer from the brush. 
So let's take this one, the 7040 that's got the pointed roof form. This is what you would call the classic German bulb shape. Um, the Germans tend to like this spherical head where the contact patch, if you were pointing the brush straight at you, would be pretty small. But the form of the roof of the head of the brush has intrinsically some backbone. So you can get backbone in a brush from a few different things. You can get it from jamming a lot of hair into a smaller area. You can get it from putting the hair deeper into the handle and having less of the hair coming out of the handle. You can get it from the form of the canopy or as in the two band over here, you can get it from the intrinsic nature of the hair itself. So the two band hair, uh, and I hope you notice on this, that uh, this one has a lot less hair peeping through it than the other two. Uh, and the reason is, is because the hairs weigh a lot and they have a thicker diameter at the bottom than they do at the top. So the three band hair, the variance in the diameter from the, from the tip to the base isn't nearly as drastic as the two band hair. But the two band hair, uh, because of that drastic tapering, it tends to have a good bit of spring to it that the others wouldn't have. So uh, if you want to point the brush straight at your face and make little twirls like this, you need a brush that's got a lot of backbone and the two band hair itself has tons of backbone. It's got so, so much backbone in fact that they can give it this flat canopy which gives you that nice big contact patch when you're going like this. Uh, if you were to take this two band style and make it into this bulb, it'd be really, really huge with backbone and it would almost feel like a pointer or something because you just have a little tiny contact patch of a very springy hair. But um, because the hair itself has so much spring and resilience, you can give this flat roof canopy to the two band hair that the three band hair wouldn't do very well at unless you made it very damn short. Um, so. That's one of the cool things about the two band silver tip here is that it's got that combination of, of scrub and, uh, and uh, backbone, but uh, because it doesn't have nearly as many hairs, it doesn't matter which brand you buy, Simpsons, whatever, uh, you can't get as many hairs into the area if they're two band as, as would be the three band. So it tends to have good flow through. It, get, it gives back the lather pretty good because there's a lot of empty space. So if you took this kind of three band hair and put it into this very flat roof shape, you'd get a brush that just pushed out of the way too easy. And um, if you took this one and put it in something like that, uh, it doesn't really jive with the nature of this kind of canopy because this one is all about softness. And the three band, the two band hair I should say, it's so springy, it's never going to be buttery soft. Doesn't matter what you do to the canopy, doesn't matter what you do to the loft. So better to let it be what it is, which is a scrubby, reflexive type of hair, uh, than to try to make it something it ain't. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on the Leon Hardys. I will put a link to the pages for these brushes. These are both on one file on the site and this one's on a separate one. Uh, and uh, the other thing I wanted to point out was, notice how much less this one costs than these two. These two cost the same thing and this one's a little bit less because uh, the Germans tell me that this hair is just worth less. So the fact that they are charging a lot more versus three band silver tip for the two band silver tip from some, some brands, just because they can get it.